This is your girl, Miss P, and you're watching Untitled Foolery. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P, and yes, you are here for another Wednesday of Untitled Foolery. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like this video while you're watching. You know, it makes me feel like you enjoy what I do because I do this for you. That was my Kimberly Elise cry. Be sure to subscribe. Just go ahead and subscribe. It's free 99. I hope I'm pointing in the right direction. If I'm not, it's over here. Oh. One thing I want to tell you guys is to go out there and vote. I don't care if you vote for Barney. Well, Barney is not on the ballot. Either Barack or Mitty Mittens, okay? Whoever you vote, that was no shade to Mitty. That's no shade at all. I, I did not mean to say his name was Mitty Mittens. But anyway, be sure to go out there and vote. I don't want to hear any excuses. I'm not registered. You can still register. I don't want to hear that. My baby got school. She gets out of school. You can go ahead and register. My leg is broke. Get those crutches, put them in the car, and take your ass to that voting poll, okay? That's all I need you to do. I don't care who you vote for. Seriously, a lot of people think, you know, it don't matter who I vote for because I I'm only one person. That's right. You're only one person, and you could make that difference here in the state. I know in North Carolina, honey, everybody better go out and vote. I voted today, honey, because I didn't feel like standing in no lines, and I have to work all week. Honey, I ain't got time. Let's go ahead and get into this. This is Flight Foolery Volume 2. I told you what happened on my way up. I'm telling you what happened on my way back. So LAX has to be one of the biggest airports ever. There were just like people, people everywhere hanging off the rafters. They were like, hey girl, I'm just waiting to go through the check-in. I was like, oh shoot, oh snap. It was just too many people. Make sure you know what time you're supposed to be there. There was an international flight. They had, this couple had to take, I don't know where they were going, but they were like, we have to get on a flight. And they were like, sir, your flight is gonna leave in like 45 minutes, but you gotta go through all these people to check in. I have to get on my flight. I do not care what I have to do. I have to get on my flight. I was like, oh snap. I said, go ahead, sir. Lord, it's all right. Lord, somebody get him. They had to put them on the cart and push the pedal to the metal to get them to their destination. But I'm like, please make sure you know what time you're supposed to go. Don't do that. Don't sit here and be frustrating all the little attendants. They already don't want to be here fooling with you. Make sure you know. And please don't be testy because you gonna miss your flight because you didn't read. It's time for us to check in. You know how they got to fill up on you feeling on your booty. They got to check you out before you get in there. Do you know good and well this girl has spiked everything on? I said, oh snap. She is gonna go off. Literally. They were like, man, you need to take off everything. <laughs> Get naked because you're just doing a lot. Uh, take your weave off too. She was just like, oh my God, I got to take this off too. Yes, you have to take off your Michael Jackson studded jacket too. Do you think you could go through check-in? It said jacket, shoes. She just went through. They were like, man, take off. Take that off. Don't think you can go through with spiked anything, okay? A man tried to go through with his size of Texas belt buckle. Don't do that. You're not going to get through. You're going to buzz. Thanks. I don't want to interview when it's time for me to go through, you know, to my gate. When they're asking you, you know, what's your name? Just to validate everything. She was like, your name, birth date, blood type, what size panties you wear, how big are your boobies, can I get a piece of your hair, are your toenails polished? Just little things she was asking. I was like, it's me. Jesus, I gave you my license. You know my whole information. Do you need my social security? I am ready to go. <sighs> there should be a bathroom at every gate. There should be a Starbucks at every gate. And I want people who are sitting down not to just use all the outlets. This guy had an outlet for his iPad, his iPhone, and his camera. I was like, sir, do you need that on the way back? I understand your phone, but do you need all that extra stuff? Go to bed. Guess who I saw in the airport? I saw Carly Red from Love & Hip Hop. She was so nice, and I felt so bad when I was talking to her because I was like, I talked so much crap about you on my review. Oh, my God, I like you, though. So I felt kind of bad, but I didn't tell her talked about him. Um, I saw Jason Pitts from The Game. He was nice. Dip. It fits. He was cute. And I saw Cheryl Underwood from The Talk. She is a mess and a half. She is hilarious. So, um, it was cool meeting them. You'll see anybody in the airport. I was like, oh snap, is that Jason Pitts? Carly Red? Cheryl? Like, it was crazy. I was seeing people, like, left and right. It was nuts. My 
flight back, it was all right. You know, Delta, if it's like long flights, they actually have the videos you can watch on the way back. How about you had to pay for all of them? I said, oh, no, ma'am, I'm going to go to bed. I ain't got time for this $6 a movie. You tripping, and this is a four-hour flight? No. The girl that was sitting beside me, her breath was a little tart, and she wanted to talk. I didn't have time. I was like, sweetheart, I'm about to turn this light off because your breath is funky, and it's time to go to sleep, pudding. Mm-mm. You know when baby girl comes around with the cart with the uh, pretzels and your drink? She gave me a nasty ass napkin. Don't do that. Don't give me no nasty coffee filled napkin. I know it's late at night and I know it's dark in here. But you know good and well to have some clean napkins. Definitely check out part one if you haven't seen it already. This was part two but I had a wonderful LA trip. It was awesome. I cannot wait to go back. And it was just really, really exciting. And I can't wait for new things that are about to come up. And I know it's going to be fabulous. Down in the comment section I want to know what else what type of flight foolery have you had have you ever met any celebrities or crazy people on your flights I want to know that I cannot wait to read your comments I really really appreciate the comments and the likes all of the love you guys are awesome be sure to follow me on Twitter at Miss TP90 and I uh, check out my Instagram for my crazy LA photos um, I had a blast but thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it and I will see you guys next Wednesday for another episode of Untitled Foolery be sure to go out there and vote I don't know how many times I have to say it. I think I'm gonna make me a sprint of go out and vote t-shirts. Even when I go to work, I'm gonna wear it. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. Y'all have a good one. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye!